فعاش القلب إخلاصا وصرت تحومك الطير تحلق في ثقافات وتنهل من روب الخير Many men could not be bothered to fulfill the conjugal rights of their own spouses because they do it in haram or sometimes they don't realize The Prophet says في بضع أحدكم صدقة When you fulfill the intimate rights of your spouse, it is a sadaqah, it is an act of worship, it is a charity. The Sahaba were surprised. They're listening, they said, me, have sex with my wife, and it's an act of worship. Whoa. So they said, how, oh messenger, how is that? You know what he said? أَرَأَيْتَ إِنْ وَضَعَهَا فِي حَرَامٍ do you see if this person fulfilled his desires in a haram way, would he get a sin? They said, yes, he would. Well, if he fulfilled it in the right way, he would get a reward. Subhanallah. Many people say, you know, when a man calls his wife, she's supposed to respond. You know, Subhanallah. What about the wife's needs? Many men don't even want to talk about that. You've left her alone. She's remaining this way as though she's a widow, subhanallah. And she's not, she has a husband. He's not really interested, he's not keen. She'll touch you at night and so on. What do you do? Hey, I'm tired, trying to sleep, don't you see? What time I came, what time do I go? And you say, what did I say? I didn't say anything. May Allah forgive us. The only reason I'm speaking bluntly and directly is because my beloved messenger sallallahu alayhi wasallam has spoken in the same blunt and direct way. Otherwise, I would be ashamed of speaking and saying things. He spoke about it live, open, clear, no hiding, because he, Allah knows this problem was there and it's going to come. Where men sometimes think, that's it, it's me. I'm only worried about me, me, me and me, you know? No way, not at all. It is about us. It is about a family unit. A family unit is made up by more than one person. Otherwise, it's not called a family unit. A marriage is made up by more than one person. Otherwise, it's not called a marriage. You can't say I'm a married man when you don't have someone who called a wife. You can't say you're married. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant us strength. So my brothers and sisters, it's important for us to know to give people their independence. When you're married, sometimes people think, and I know the in-laws sometimes feel this in some cultures. Like I said, I'm not totally aware of the culture here, but I know in a lot of the places in the world, a woman gets married and the mother-in-law thinks that, okay, I can now fire the maid I used to pay because now I've got a maid whom I don't need to pay. If that's the case, you have failed. No woman would actually Say no to doing some of the household chores if she is appreciated correctly. Am I right, sisters? You heard that. <laughs> they don't mind. They will cook for you. They will do for you and so on. They will say a lot. But at the same time, they will say as much. I'm sorry, they will do a lot. They want you to appreciate it. That's all. You just need to say, wow, you must have been working from the morning to the evening. Don't worry. The weekend, we'll, we'll go out to eat. I'm not encouraging going out to eat, by the way. But I'm giving an example. You can bring her something. Bring a little gift. We take gifts for everyone here. And then what about your spouse? What have you done? Have you ever brought her a gift or him? Have you ever decided? Sometimes, subhanAllah. You know, I remember, and I'm going to tell you this. It's my own life, okay? So I'm not doing riba of someone or saying something of someone. One day I was leaving to travel on a journey. And I remember as I was going, there were some visitors. Now normally you greet your spouse and you go as though you're never going to come back. Because every time you leave the home, it could be the last time. They may never see you again. So whenever you leave loved ones, make sure you utter beautiful words to them because it could be the last time that you're ever seeing them, right? So I saw my wife was busy and I'm thinking to myself, what should I do now? You know, she's there with the visitors. I can't go in. These are ladies sitting and saying, love you, man, love you, love you. And so, you know, some of us, it's still a little bit taboo to do it in public because, you know, I always believe when people show too much of love in public, I don't think they get along inside their doors, you know. It's just a show, you know. 
it's like the boxers who hold hands in public and they want to go, ah, they want to box each other, you know. They were just holding hands before the fight. But those who really love each other, it's more than words. It's more than, it's actually something you feel is there. That does not mean do not say the words.